Welcome to the Hughes Optioneering Weekly Workshop, where we scientifically engineer trades for greater profit potential. This is the disclaimer slide. You can pause to read it. We're going to move on. Today we're going to look at mRNA, or Moderna Inc. mRNA is a clinical stage biotechnology company pioneering messenger RNA therapeutics and vaccines. Here's the barchart.com technical opinion rating for mRNA. The bar chart rating is an 88% buy with an average short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of the trend. According to Prime Trade Select rules, a stock is in a bull trend on a monthly basis if the stock price is above the 10-period or 10-month simple moving average. The monthly chart shows that mRNA is well above the moving average line, so the monthly trend in mRNA is up. Now we're going to look at the daily chart. A stock is in a bull trend on a daily basis. If the 50-period or 50-day exponential moving average is above the 100-day exponential moving average, the blue line is the 50-day EMA line, and the green line is the 100-day EMA line. The blue line has been above the green line since the chart started, so the daily trend is up. Since the monthly and daily trends are both up, mRNA is on our buy list. Next, we're going to look at a daily chart that displays the Keltner channel. As a rule, we don't want to buy calls if the stock price is above the upper Keltner channel line. Anywhere inside the Keltner channel or even below the Keltner channel is fine. The mRNA stock price is below the midline of the Keltner channel, so mRNA is inside the buy zone. Since the trend is up, we want to buy a call. MRN has 12 option chains to choose from. We're going to use the October 15 option chain. Right now, the October 15 options have 47 days to expiration. Here's most of the MRNA option chain for October 15. MRNA closed at 382.22 on Friday. That means any calls on the list from 380 to 230 are in the money. Let's take a look at the profit potential for purchasing the MRNA 380 strike call, which is the closest strike to the current price of the stock. The bid ask spread for the 380 call is 36 to 36.75. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we use 36.40 as the buy price. Our call option calculator shows the profit potential for this call based on changes in price at expiration from flat to a 12.5% increase in price. We can see that if the mRNA stock price is flat at 382.22 at option expiration, the 380 call will lose 93.9% .9 of its value. Ouch! This is an unacceptable risk. I can have lost the way we've got our trading account in a hurry. We developed what we call the 1% rule to help us avoid this kind of risk. The 1% rule says to limit the time value portion of the option we buy to 1% of the stock price. That means the stock only has to move up 1% for the call option we purchase to break even and start profiting. Now let's take a look at buying the 330 strike call to see if it qualifies for the 1% rule. Here's the call option calculated picture for the 330 call. According to the 1% rule, we want the call to at least break even if the stock price is up 1%. The calculator picture shows that if the mRNA stock price is up 1%, the 330 call will lose 13.9% of its value. We want that to be break even or better, so the 330 call does not meet our requirements. Let's see if the 280 call will work. The bid ask spread for the 280 call is 10470 to 107.25. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we use 106 even as the buy price. The 280 call works. If the mRNA stock price is up 1%, the 280 call will make a 0% or $4 profit. 
$4 is better than break even, so the 280 call is the one we'll buy. The call option purchase calculator also shows that if the mRNA stock price increases by 2.5%, the 280 call will make a 5.4% or $578 profit. If the mRNA stock price increases by 5%, the 280 call will make a 14.5% or $1,533 profit. If the mRNA stock price increases by 7.5%, the 280 call will make a 23.5% or $2,489 profit. The 10% and 12.5% numbers are also displayed. You can see that the profits get better and better. And notice that if the mRNA stock price does not make the expected move up and it remains flat at expiration, the 280 call would only lose minus 3.6% or minus $378 compared to the 93.9% or $3,418 loss for the 380 strike call that we looked at earlier. Now we want to review a call option debit spread, a.k.a. a vertical call spread. For this spread, we want to buy to open the MRNA October 15 expiration 330 strike call and sell to open the MRNA October 15 expiration 340 strike call. We're going to base our entry prices on the midpoint between the bid and ask prices. That means we'll buy the 330 call for 65.10 and, and sell the 340 call for 58.55. 65.10 minus 58.55 equals 6.55. So the entry price or debit cost for the spread is $655. The call option spread analysis calculator picture shows that the spread will make a 52.7% or $345 profit. If the mRNA stock price declines by 7.5%, remains flat, or increases in price when the options expire. Creating the debit spread will allow us to collect a $5,855 cash credit to our brokerage account for the sale of the 340 call. As we said on the previous slide, this reduces the cost of entering the spread to $655. Here's a note regarding earnings reports. The next uh, MRNA earnings report is scheduled for November 4th. Let's review the trades one more time. First trade was a call purchase. So to buy to open the MRNA October 15 expiration 280 call for 106 even. We also reviewed a spread. Spread said to buy to open the MRNA October 15 expiration 330 strike call and sell to open the MRNA October 15 expiration 340 strike call at a debit of 655. That's it for this week's Optioneering Workshop. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week.